Hey guys, in today's Music Gear quick review video, we're going over a cable that solves a very common problem. This is the cable right here, and what it does is it has USB on one side and then MIDI in and out on the other side. This is the CME Pro U2 MIDI Pro, and it converts USB to five pin MIDI both in and out. So you can now connect your five pin MIDI devices to your computer or to a tablet and it's a simple $20 cable that works great. So I have a really nice audio interface. I have the Universal Audio Apollo Twin X. Amazing interface, I love it, but it doesn't have any five pin MIDI. So I have no way to connect five pin MIDI to my computer, not anymore. So I just connect this end into my computer and then this end into my MIDI devices. So I'm using Logic Pro X, but you can use whatever DAW you are comfortable with. So it automatically recognizes the device. So in Logic, so this isn't really a video about Logic, but in Logic, you basically, you click external MIDI, and then you say, what's the destination that you want it to go out? And I'm going to send it out the U2 MIDI Pro. And I'm personally going to send this out on channel four, because that's the way that my HX stomp responds to MIDI. This is not a video about programming MIDI, but if you need help with programming MIDI, I do have a guide that has helped a lot of people out. So check that out if you're interested. So these are all the MIDI commands that I am sending. And then you can see when I push space, this is going to send these commands to my HX stomp in order to change the presets and the foot switches. Just FYI, because this system is USB to MIDI in and out. So just be careful. So I'm not using my HX stomp to send anything to my computer. So I'm going to set the MIDI in port to off because right now what it's going to do, it's going to receive and send MIDI to my HX stomp via the U2 MIDI Pro. So when you do something like that, you can get into a MIDI loop, which basically does this where it just keeps sending the messages back and forth through each other and it flips out. Just keep that in mind if you're doing this. That's not a problem with the U2. That's just general MIDI advice. You can get that if you configure your MIDI incorrectly. However, this can also be used with my iPad or a tablet. So use a device like this, which converts USB into Lightning, or if you have one of the newer iPads to USB-C, get the right cable. I'll link to both of them down below. Also, there is one that actually has, it's a bit wider and has a spot to plug in power. So you could always charge your iPad at the same time. So now you have USB and a way to charge it. I'll link to that down below as well. Okay, so with the iPad, so I'm going to connect it to this adapter, USB in here. And like I said, this is the one that charges it. So it has this extra port here. So if you plug in power, you can charge your iPad while you use this USB connector, which is really nice. So I'm going to plug that into my iPad. And then this is one of my favorite things. This is such a small detail, but I'm really glad instead of just the arrows, they say two MIDI out and two MIDI in. I don't know if my camera's going to pick that up completely. It's kind of hard to see, but it says it on there. That's just super helpful. So you don't even have to think about it. I do so much MIDI stuff and I still have to think about how these arrows work. I know it's silly, but I love that they did that. So I'm going to plug that into my HX stomp. And then here's just a quick demo showing you that I can send MIDI to my HX stomp. This this is a really simple app called MIDI Pad 2 that I did a quick video on if you want to check it out. If you want more advanced and way more options of using an iPad to send MIDI messages, check out my video on MIDI Designer Pro. That thing's pretty wild. But overall, you can see that this device is sending and receiving MIDI using this cable. And here's just a quick demo just showing you that this works in the other way. I'm using my HX stomp to send commands to my iPad to scroll up and down the lyrics on Stage Tracks 3. FYI, if you haven't heard Stage Tracks 3, it's one of the absolute best apps I've used for a musician for live shows. Definitely check out my video on that. It's a really cool app. And also, if you don't know how to use your Helix or HX Stomp in order to send MIDI, I also have a video on that since I guess this video is just me recommending other videos to you guys. But check that out if you are interested. And finally, last but not least, you can also download their software, UX MIDI. And using this, you can one, you can update the firmware, which is awesome that this will be update for any new versions they come out with. But also, you can use this to filter out MIDI messages. So you you can say, I don't want it to send certain commands, or I do not want it to send out on certain channels. I want it to ignore certain things and only send other messages. Pretty impressive that you can do all of this with just a $20 cable. So they did a really good job with this product for sure. But yeah, really cool device. Like I said, it's only 20 bucks and purchase links are down below in the description. Hopefully this helps you out as much as it helped me out. That's basically it. If you guys found this content helpful, do me a favor, just hit the thumbs up button. It does a ton to help support the channel and feed the YouTube algorithm. So I would appreciate it. Also, if you want to spend a little bit more money, you can actually do this wirelessly. So CME Pro also has the Witty Master as well as the Witty Jack. Both are awesome devices. I use them constantly. And you can check out both of those by clicking the links on your screen now. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media page at Scott Yule Music on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more music gear quick tips like this in the future. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.